everybody. Uh, this is Marty Coleman. I'm the Napkin Dad. This is part three of my uh, tour of my studio and um, and how I started drawing. So uh, part two was um, me drawing from the quote. The quote I started with was, what I dream of is an art of balance by Henri Matisse. Uh, I drew, I started drawing the person who was balancing on something and um, so then I filled it in um, like this. This is what it looks like now. Uh, I had filled it in to the point where um, all I had left to do was the back arm with the hammer um, and then the background. I didn't have anything um, that she was hammering into or anything like that. But now I have um, finished it up in terms of the line drawing. And one of the reasons I did that was um, so that I can now color for you guys and show you that. So what I decided was I liked the idea of balance. I liked the idea of her being up on something. So she ended up being up on a ball. Um, I then thought about the idea of her being in a dream um, as well as, you know, she's dreaming of the art of balance. So she's balancing on a ball and she's dreaming of all these other balls, all these other spheres, not really balls, but spheres. Um, and then I thought, you know, she's high up in the sky. She's above the earth, so I have this earth below her. Right now, I'm going to um, just color in her um, to start, and then um, then I'll stop and we can go farther. I'm going to uh, start to color. And um, it's a very simple scene, and it's very kind of um, light. I don't want to do heavy colors. I want to have light colors just because it seems like it's, you know, rising up and very light. So um, I think I'm going to start with some warm colors. I think I'm going to start with uh, a peach. Now, if you notice, you've seen my setup here. I have a whole bunch of different pens. Um, I'd like to say I'm more completely um, methodical about choosing which color, and it really makes sense that I'm going to use that color. But oftentimes, I just pick the color that hits me, and I draw, and then I go from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, paint with this light peach color in her um, shirt. At first I thought about having her um, nude, but then I thought, you know, I want some different coloration on her. Um, I don't want her to be all one color. So I uh, decided to go ahead and do um, a little bit of color on her by doing clothing. Um, so I have a nice little pink top. You can see it's pretty simple. Um, and then I think I'm going to um, use a kind of a bright green for her pants. Okay, and then um, I think I'm going to use some yellow for her shoes. Okay, so now what about her skin tone? I have tons of different things I can use for skin tones. I have all these Prismacolors that I can use. I have, you know, obviously any color I want. Over on the Copic side, uh, you can see I have all these different colors I can use. Um, but I like the idea of her kind of being bright. Um, she obviously doesn't have to be a, uh, a human color. It's, it's a cartoon. She doesn't have to be any color at all. Um, so I think I'm going to use this uh, pale sepia. And I'm going to make her kind of like this bright brown orange. Um, one of the things I try and remember when I'm doing uh, human skin is that um, it's very easy to just pick like the the light flesh um, partly because I'm light flesh colored myself um, but I try and avoid that um, too consistently because I don't want to um, I don't want to cut off other um, people I don't want to cut off people who are African American or who are Hispanic or who are um, uh, Indian or, um, you know, I mean, Asian Indian or something else. I want people to feel like I'm drawing universal characters. And some of them are pale, some of them are light, and oftentimes some of them are orange or purple or green or, you know, whatever, because it's art. I can make them any color I want. Um, but I try and remember that because I want people to see that, you know, I'm talking about all people Okay, so um, 
you can see I'm kind of making progress with this making her kind of I mean she looks kind of like she has a fake tan actually maybe that's what it is maybe she's a, one of those fake tan people okay there we go color uh, so now I got the hair hair do I want to make it dark do I want to make it light what color do I want to make it um, I have this yellow for her shoes and I think I might go back and do um, yellow for her hair too sometimes I make stripes in the hair like on and off different different colors um, I might do that in this one but I'll start with this base of this yellow and um, go from there I think I kind of like it being really light because it um, kind of makes the top of her body buoyant and um, you know she already has kind of a dark skin and um, I kind of like the idea of the top of her being the lightest part it makes your eye kind of go up towards it and lift up towards it um, okay there she is okay so um, now I have, I think I'm going to do the um, earth next. The earth is going to be um, very simple. It's just going to be um, basically kind of green, brown, and blue.